Do I really got to do that? I never thought about this when I was making my designs, but do I really got to do that? Anyhow, hello internet people, David here, and this is day 9 of my game development journey, where I'm making a little dungeon crawler called Nutty Dungeon that features little peanut characters. Did I get that intro done? First try? Anyone? Anyone? So, I haven't been able to work on my game too much. Most of my spare time that I have has been going into just um, little pockets of developing pixel art and sprites. Uh, mostly just playing with different variation of peanuts because that's kind of a fun, relaxing thing for me to do. So not much programming has been done on the Godot side since last episode. And I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to get back to that because the next thing I want to work on in Godot is just getting my animations to work so that I can start focusing on combat. But in the meantime, me and my partner Shauna have been working on making pixel art armor to put on our little peanut characters. And what we realized is I can't just equip my armor onto my character. I have to make my armor animated to fit whatever my character's animation is. So it just can't be an image on top of an image that's static, it has to conform and move. So every single piece of armor we're making has to have a sprite sheet and an animation attached to it. And that was not something I ever thought about. I don't know why I didn't think about it, I just never did. Which isn't a big deal, but... I guess for anyone starting out making a game, don't make your base animations too complicated unless you really feel like drawing your armor sets and your clothing and whatever you're going to attach to your character um, multiple different times. Now for people that aren't making an RPG type game, I don't see this being a problem. Um, but for me, it's definitely a problem. <laughs> well, it's not a problem. It just means more time. It's just more time working on it, developing the clothing from different angles and different animations. Um, and I'm trying to figure out how many different angles I need to make my clothing. So I ended up loading up a favorite game of mine called Cat Quest 2, seeing how they did armor. And they had the armor, I think they had four, orient four orientations for their character. Uh, kind of like a north, east, and west where they kind of just flip the asset. And I think in Godot that's like flipping on the H axis or something like that. There's like a little flag you can flip for that. Um... So I think they just had to draw their armor in two orientations and then just some animations for like attacking. Uh, to see kind of the, the clothing move. Um, so yeah, been working on a little bit of that. Let's do a little sneak peek of a character that I'm really happy with. Shauna did a great job on this so far. Um, and I'm really excited to see what I can do with this type of peanut. So here's a little bit of a sneak peek. Look at this guy. This is our zombie nut. So here it is walking. Never mind. Maybe it's not walking. So here it is walking. Same walking animation. Didn't make the head too much, and what I was realizing, um, I kind of want to put hats and stuff on these characters, so the eyes will be kind of blocked out a little bit, the top part of the eyes. Um, but animating those might not be an issue, because if I'm not conforming the head of these peanuts too much, I think in this case my sprite of my hat doesn't need to be animated, it can just attach to a point on the head. And I think there's a way of just attaching things to your character. When I was doing Unreal Engine, uh, I remember you could just attach a weapon into the hand and you had to like create a bone and the kinematics and stuff like that to attach like any sort of object you wanted to attach to a hand like a pickup and have it kind of placed, I don't know, kind of looking like it's in that inside the hand. Uh, I think you can do probably do the same thing with this. So I don't think hats are a big deal for having to animate. Um, I think it's just going to be the body armor. We ended up changing the look animation. The, um, for my base peanut to be in like an eat attack and this is like the little mouth look at it's eating my mouse hand right now but yeah this is our little zombie nut and i'm really happy with it and here just giving you a little thumbs up <laughs> another thing that we've made and i'm not going to show it in this video but in a future video 
Shauna's been making some different colored lantern lanterns. Some different colored lanterns. A red one, a green one, and an alien one. Because we'll definitely have some alien peanuts in this game. Because why not? This dungeon's going to be wild, guys. There's going to be all kinds of stuff in this dungeon. I don't know what the theme's going to be yet, but I'm really excited to start getting into level design. Um, but just getting through some of the technical stuff and some of the art stuff that I really don't have much skill in. Um, but I am excited to learn, and I've been learning a lot as I've been going. It's just been slower than I've wanted to. Also, I guess I never mentioned at this point, but I'm kind of doing laundry right now, so I'm in a house coat. So if anyone's wondering what the hell I'm wearing right now, I'm uh, wearing my house coat because I have no clothing. And I didn't realize my chest is kind of sticking out this whole time, but... It's too late now. We ain't, we ain't, re we, we ain't, we ain't re-recording this. It is, it is what it is. It is. Moving on. Moving on. I wanted to show you guys something. Oh, 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 oh. I want to show this. I want to show this to you guys. Look at these cute little guys. So a guy I used to play Mordhau with called Blackened um, now goes by another name of Calovander and he's been really helpful um, just helping me kind of get pointed in the right direction for making this game and he found some little peanuts that he made at some point for a project and I'm 100% throwing these in the game as NPCs or something. I don't know what I'm doing with them yet but they're definitely going in the game. And they kind of in the, they kind of look like they're in the shape of that S thing you used to draw as a kid. You know, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, maybe maybe I'm aging myself here. But you guys remember this thing right here? Bom, 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 bom. Paintbrush. There we go. Uh, let's make this a bit bigger. Like this thing. Remember when you used to do the three lines like this? And you go like bam, bam. And if I guess, I think it was like that. Yeah. Remember drawing this S? Why did we do this? I don't know why we did this. I drew this lots though. But this little peanut that he made kind of reminds me of that in the shape. I don't know why it just does. It's just the way this brain works. I don't know. It's a nightmare. So that wasn't necessarily what I was going to show you. But there was one thing I was excited to show you as well. Which was... Let's see what we got going on here. We got all kinds of stuff. I need to... I need to organize this a lot better. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. We got a body armor. Now, I wish I had a peanut to throw this on top of, so maybe I'll just copy this. Copy. Throw this onto the zombie. I'll make a new layer. New layer. Throw that on top. Boom. Look at that. There we go. Look at this armor. And uh, maybe I'll put this below the arm so you can see the arm stick out. There we go. And let's have him do. Move that there. There we go. Let's have uh, have him do some thumbs up. So when you have this armor, it's a it's supposed to be a sack. And uh, guess what it's called, guys? Can you guess? Yeah, you can guess. We're calling this armor the nut sack. Anyhow, that's the end of the video. There we go. A few things we've been working on, just having fun in uh, Ace Sprite, uh, making some different animations, making some different variations of peanuts. Um, while I figure out what exactly I want my base animations to be, because on the Godot side, I'm getting into animation trees and animation players and adding in my sprite sheet and switching between animations based off what I'm doing. Um, so I'm doing a lot of that stuff on the programming side. But what I realized is I kind of have to have my base animations done before I get that far. Unless I kind of just want to redo that part, which I kind of don't want to. I kind of just want it to be done. And until I get bored of it at a later time and maybe revamp it. But I'm just trying to progress. Um, we're just trying to make some progression on the programming side. But in the meantime, I've been having a lot of fun with the art side. And some of these peanut designs are kind of cute. And I'd love to see what they look like as plushies. So maybe if I ever want to fund this game, I'll create some plushies and you guys can buy them. Um, just to help, like, I don't know, let me buy caffeine and coffee so that I can keep working on this game. <laughs> and yeah, th if you made it this far into the video, thank you as always. Uh, if you liked me rambling, showcasing my nuts, 
hit the like button, consider subscribing, <laughs> and um, I'll see you in uh, day 10, the day 10 video. I don't know why I'm calling them days now. They're not really days. They're kind of like, because it's summer right now. It's kind of like when I have time um, between not being burnt out from work and hanging out with friends and doing other activities. Um, game development. I wish I could work on it full time, but that's just not my reality that I live in. But I am having fun at the pace I'm working at right now, so. Yeah. Does that end positive or negative? I don't know. I don't know. We're having fun. We're playing with nuts. Anyhow, I'm David. Um, thanks for watching this. Thanks for everyone that supported me, giving me tips. Thanks for people that have been working on um, some peanuts for me. I know I've handed off my peanut to a few people to uh, try and make something. Uh, so I hope to see some uh, different nut variations come back in my lap so we can throw them into the game. Uh, thanks for people that have shared resources with me. Um, different videos on how to accomplish certain things. I know I got sent some videos on inheritance versus composition in Godot. So kind of understanding those concepts and game design patterns or programming patterns. And uh, who else did I want to do a shout out for today? Oh no, guess all you guys. Thanks for watching me ramble. Um, I think I wanted to end this video like three times now and I just keep rambling. So we're going to end it after this third time, fourth time. I don't know. Someone, someone let me know how many times I've tried to end this. Anyhow, I'm David. Peace and love. Love and peace. I'll see you guys in another video, another vlog, another day of game development. Peace out.